there he is. That, that, you feel like. You got him real. Hey. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good. How you doing? Good. So uh, I'm Tim, this is my uncle Leroy. Nice to meet you. We're here in uh, Stewart, Florida to host some auditions for our fishing show. My name's Mike okay. Tavcar, T-A-V-C-A-R. Like on your shirt? Exactly. What would make you the best fishing host for a show? I always like having fun and enjoying myself and relaxing when I'm fishing. So. Uh, usually to start my day off for fishing, uh, my first thing I do is uh, just cut the hook off. That way you don't have to worry about a pesky fish interrupting your relaxation. You cut the hook off, toss your line out, watch your bobber out there, and uh, enjoy one of your favorite beverages on the water. That ain't a bad day. No? Great. Well, all my friends call me Wix. Wix? Yep. Why is that? Ah, uh, it's just a nickname, you know? Wixer, Wix, kind of. Oh, okay. Saves a syllable. Yeah. Ah, syllables. Um, okay, David. Uh, so what, what makes you think that you would be a great host for a fishing show? I'm energetic, outgoing. Uh, when I'm on the boat, love to have a great time. Uh, know about all the techniques on how to fish. Uh, grew up fishing in freshwater, saltwater, and long pond PA. Um, been down here since 79. I've been fishing in saltwater ever since. Got you. Do you like the saltwater better than the freshwater? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't eat fish in Florida in, mm. in freshwater. Yeah. There's just nothing I would eat. So I'm all about the kill. You know, I'm all about the kill. If I'm not fishing, I'm hunting pigs or deer or turkey or something pigs. like that. Pigs. Yeah, I got a trap in my backyard. We just. Got four of them last month. The biggest one was 130 pounds. So you hunt and trap pigs? Yes, yes. Yeah. Here's my wife's address. <laughs> <laughs>
Tip up, tip up, tip up. Ooh. Well, thing's tiny, I'm gonna be pissed. I might have to walk around with him towards the back here, okay? If he goes backwards. Find big jack. Yeah. Walk to the end. Drop your tip straight down. I tip back up. Slowly. And that's Jack Corval right there. There you go, baby. Woo! One hard fighting fish. And they're deep. Yeah, okay, kiss the first one. <laughs> there we go. That's something. Good job. ask you a question. You got all the, the fangled stuff here. What are you going to do if you got to go to the can? It's all around you. That's a point well taken. Well, here's my problem. Suppose it's windy. Here's what I'm thinking. What if you get like a hose? You know, you put in one of the containers. Yeah, you know, like one of those clear hoses, you know. And you just, you know, stick it on. Goes right in. No problem. Come on, boys. What's going on with the bow there? Another little snooky. Come on, boys, there's a chance to do it. Nice left side snook right there. Keep reeling, keep reeling. You gotta reel, you gotta reel. Nice snook. Very nice snook. Uh, I was born and raised in Key West, Florida. Beautiful. Uh, so I spent most of my life around the salt water. I love to fish, I live to fish. I like to laugh, I uh, do a little stand up comedy. And it's, it's passion, being out on the water and enjoying it. So what is uh, unique about you that you could bring to the hosting table? Uh, I do impressions. Really? Yes. Give me a I've, uh, I've fished with George W. Bush. And uh, I'll tell you what, that David, that David Aguilar, I like to call him David Cuban myself. He's a hell of a fisherman. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I, I'd send them to Afghanistan, but we need them here helping us Americans. I got a theory, and I think I'm on to something here. So I'm going to ask you something. You can answer it if you'd want to, but let me ask you straightforward. Seems like I'm talking to the Godfather all of a sudden. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What was it like coaching the Dallas Cowboys? Oh, man. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> Woo! What I tell you? What'd I tell you, right? You right want me there. to sign the autograph, That's Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson, Johnson right now? Right you know there. how many times people ask me that in airports and I get free drinks? I've fished with uh, Charles Barkley. Let me tell you, that David Cuban, that boy can catch some fish. I mean, everybody say he terrible. He not terrible. He good. He like the LeBron James of fishing. You know what I think, though? I think this is a line, because uh, I think we actually got Brett Favre. Oh, yeah. I know. I get it all the time. Just That's having all these all these stuff. Especially when my hair's cut short. Yeah, and I can yeah. Little, get the gray scruff going in on there. Oh man! Yeah, I get it. So, uh, what is your theory on life and fishing? 
life and fishing yeah. is the cream of the crop, is what life's all about. If I didn't have fishing, I'd probably be a drug addict. No, not really. I always wanted to be a stripper, but, you know, at my age, you know, they can stuff dollar bills and I can give change. So it just, you know, doesn't work good. Chris Berman from ESPN. Let me tell you something about Dave the Cuban. The kid could catch some fish. I mean, he's like the Eagles in Hotel California. You could check out, but you can never leave. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boomer? TJ. Come walk him around. Nice snook. Good job. Not bad at all. That's not a bad fish at all. Not, you gotta kiss the first one too. <laughs> too much like my ex-wife. Captain George is pretty pretty great. Um, he uh, he was very knowledgeable. I didn't like how he made fun of my cast all the time. But it's alright, we're friends. We get along. Hey George! See, we're, we're like best buds. Fishing with Tim and Uncle Leroy was a unique experience. I've been with some characters and uh, I've seen quite a bit chartering every day, but they were, they were a, a rare breed there. I can definitely see why they need a host. You know, we need something to pull this whole thing together. First catch of the day. Did you catch a seagull with that thing? No, with the net? No. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah. Is that a seagull? That's, that's a pellet. Get him. I don't think the PETA activist would be too happy about that. <laughs> it's like the fish whisperer. <laughs> Here, take this one. Giant, but that's the way. It's all right. It's starting. Big old mouth on him. Done. Leroy, it's two to one. So what was the biggest fish you ever caught? Um, right now, the biggest fish I think I've caught is uh, about a 300 pound blue marlin. Yikes. And I actually, uh, we hooked it up. Uh, I brought it down from the tower um, and got in the fighting chair, fought it, got out of the fighting chair and then wired it. So, I mean, that's already a pretty big feat. You know, normally you have two other people on the boat turning your chair, you've got one ready to start wiring it, and I unhooked, put the rod in the holder, did a double wrap, started pulling. So, I think that's a pretty big feat right there. Biggest fish, hammerhead shark. Really? Yeah, probably about 400 pounds. Yikes, what'd you use to, uh, to nab it? I uh, actually ate a, what's it, a bee liner coming up. Caught him on a bandit, circle hooked him. Yeah. Got lucky. Wow. No wire. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I caught an 18 pound tarpon. It was about 36 inches long on 
four foot, it used to be a four foot six inch ultra microcast rod, but now it's a four foot three inch rod because the tip broke off. Yeah. And six pound test, and I landed them down by the uh, Roosevelt Bridge there. And, you know, oh, got a man. couple pictures. I take pictures like this with my foot next to the fish because I'm usually fishing alone nowadays. <laughs> uh, tackle boxes and your bait are essential for the kind of fish that you're targeting. Uh, for the smaller fishies, uh, species of fish, we specialize in the smaller baits. Uh, for the bigger fish, we specialize in bigger baits. Hey, you got a wife size one of those? <laughs> they don't make dynamite <laughs> that big. Nah, they don't. Um, we're catching dolphin, we're catching kingfish, we're catching wahoo, we're catching black, uh, blackfin tuna, we catch snapper, grouper, uh, cobia, just to name a few. What's the, uh, what's the biggest fish you ever caught? Maybe not so much on the charter, but... Probably a 250 pound bull shark. Brought it to the boat and uh, cut the leader because I wasn't going to take the hook back at that point. You know, they rust out, so... Yeah. You know, don't want to get your hands near that, you know. Oh. Just cut the wire leader and let it go. But yeah, it was, that was fun. It took me about an hour and a half to get it into the boat. Biggest fish I ever caught... <sighs> I, was, I was drunk that night. And she looked really nice, you know. She looked like about a 42 pounder, but when I got her home, she was a good 150 pounder. We all caught that uh, fish. Biggest, biggest, <laughs> biggest fish I ever caught. Uh, how about favorite fish I ever caught? It was a 42 inch snook on the fly, and that was my biggest, my biggest trophy. What would win in a fight, a piranha or a barracuda? I think the piranha would win because he's much quicker and uh, he's able to get around a lot better, you know. Yeah, yeah, maneuver, you know. I like the small fish, you know. The small fish always are always going to win that battle, I think. Who would win in a fight, a marlin or a swordfish? Uh, I'm probably going to have to say a swordfish, because if you've ever seen a uh, swordfish, broadbill swordfish... Oh, who would win in a fight, a swordfish or mothra? A who? Mothra. Mothra? He doesn't know who Mothra is. Who's Mothra? It's a Japanese nah, big I, moth flying no. thing. You know. None of that Mothman stuff. I, Isn't that you, it? The did, you watch, did you watch too many of those movies, yeah. you know, with Richard Gere and stuff, and he believes yeah. in a Mothman or something? I, no. I did. He's... Oh, watch that, Mary. You want me to catch a shark for you, Mary? I'll throw a rope. I'll bring him in right into the boat, Mary, because that's what you want. Tim and Uncle Leroy, they did all right with, you know, once they got the fish hooked and stuck, missed a couple fish, but all in all, you know, it was a pretty successful day. Caught a handful of snook and some jacks, so I think it was pretty productive. I really wanted to show Tim the Goliath grouper. You know, people think they know what a fish feels like to pull a big fish, but there's nothing like the pull of a, a you know, 50, 100 pound Goliath on the end of 400 pound cable. Unfortunately, we didn't connect with the big one, but he got to feel a bite of a couple big ones and, you know, Caught him maybe a 10, 20 pounder. Get ready to reel. Reel? A little bit. Reel? Reel? Go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, he got a baby. <laughs> Hold him right off the boat. Watch the boat. Oh, it's a baby. Oh. It's like a big bass. <laughs> That's about a 15 pounder. Imagine what a 100 pounder will do to you. You know where your dad is. I want, I want to see him. Oh, he's doing that death roll. Man. That's, imagine him. He ate a bait that was almost the same size as him. I mean, yeah. the length of him. how power comes from that tail. Look how it's all tail. Prehistoric. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. The weather is beautiful. The fishing is just abundant. There's tons of fish in this water. There was a lot of really great potential hosts. Um, 
plenty of people that are just crazy about fishing, just as crazy as Captain Bob is about fishing, just as crazy as I am about fishing. Um, and the overall experience of everything was just fantastic. I don't want to go back to Pennsylvania. 